I found the training two years ago and I was, I'd moved to Bristol um, five years ago and then I moved there really, um, yeah, really, I'd kind of had a realisation that being being on, on my own and, and just kind of seeing myself as an individual and being kind of really independent and thinking that's what I was, kind of seeing that that hadn't worked. I I'd felt exactly the same that I had 10 years before that and that wasn't how I wanted to, to carry on living my life. So I came to Bristol and just kind of seeing... I was open to, to some kind of community, some kind of collaboration, um, and I didn't I didn't know how that was going to look, but yeah. And then a few years into that, I found the training and uh, and started coming to open meetings. And a friend met someone in the community and found out about it and told me and started coming to the open meetings on Wednesday at the YHA where they were. And just just coming to that space and seeing trainers, wonderful trainers that um, are speaking and hear it and seeing how secure they were in themselves and how how just through that that transmission that they were they were living how they were speaking and then seeing them more and coming back and and just hearing 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 them and then listening to to talks and and really. It's funny, like I came, I came to the meetings with a friend, um, the friend who had who had found out about it, and it was really that was my kind of buddy system for for when I first came to meetings. That was that was my, like, just being in myself, kind of socially anxious, like really socially anxious. So, so that was that was a, a buddy system to start off with, and that, and then he he stopped coming, and I kept coming. And then, yeah, and I've just kept turning up really and, and doing trainings and um, doing, yeah, doing the trainings. And I really found them so supportive, the trainings, and found, found I'm doing the 12 empowerments again at the moment. And I'm just reminding me how, how to, how clarifying it is and how clearly clear it 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 makes you you kind of write a list down and I just really see all my all my data all my thoughts emotions and sensations really clearly and that's amazing and then just kind of sharing that and seeing those resolve um, things that I I never thought you know I just just had accepted them in my life as that's you know that's the standard that's what I'm gonna that's gonna be me until I die and seeing that kind of come out and being so supported in in those environments, in the safe spaces that are created in, in balanced view, and um, yeah, and, and seeing that in, in all the trainings really, just just such a supportive process for me. And then also being in Bristol has really had a, a really kind of landed in a in a large community. And I just kind of wrapped myself up in that. I just really marinated myself. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a lovely phrase, uh, lovely words I, uh, I hear sometimes here. And uh, yeah, so I was just... And, that, and being socially anxious, that was, that was amazing to have a group of people to, to hang out with and really test this training and see and the community of Bristol's there's uh, many artists and musicians and all types of yeah different different creative um, things going on and, and just to be part of that and also being an artist myself and and seeing that collaboration just come really naturally and for me and and seeing like my limitations just being pushed further and further back with how I could work with other people. And that, that was just like everything I ever wanted, like working with people, um, collaborating, like having projects. We, 
we do fundraising where we put on big events and we do like so many things I never I never thought I'd ever do really ever do and um yeah and and seeing yeah like performing at open stage I did once and um like coordinating teams coordinating the printing team coordinating poster distribution where we did it like all over Bristol and seeing how I can clarify those areas that um of of service and seeing how I can improve it and make it easier to hand over and and just make it more efficient um so so if, and seeing the easefulness that comes from that kind of having an idea of like this, in my mind it works kind of someone asked me to do something or and a, a massive story appears in my head of how of how it's going to look at the end and it's just like yeah and and resting with all that and and seeing and seeing that that's not that's not the focus the thing at the end it's it's the moment by moment it's the taking the short moments in every moment and seeing that what's needed what's of most benefit in that moment and and that also giving me the space to enjoy what's happening and and see what's what's best for for everyone and that for me is just over time just made all 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 my collaborations just more easeful and less energy is wasted and just more space to enjoy enjoy what's what's happening having a trainer as well all all the way along to support me and i've i've had i i bump into my trainer a lot when when traveling around which is lovely and just write to him when i need something clarified or he's always he's always asking me how can i support you how can i support you and that's that's just amazing to have 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 someone in my life just totally open with his his kind of massive vibes and wisdom <laughs> and <laughs> yeah and and that is that is it the direct transmission i get from being in community and being with trainers and is just it just makes my life more more and more effortless and that that is something i never i never really imagined was possible